I'm so sorry. Yeah, I know you said. No, I mean it. I'm gutted. Anyway, that's not the reason I came round. I wanted to give you this. All right, it's about time. What's this? 15 grand? Your debt to us is because of your negligence. Like I said, we want the full amount. Okay. Um, have, uh, have, have you got a pen? Thank you. I mean, we appreciate you've had the robbery and everything, but it's still very decent of you. Oh, uh, came to see if I could drag old mate down to the pub. I was, uh, I was just, um, just leaving. Yeah. Sorry. All right. What's that about? You two had a Barney. Broke up. This is too high maintenance. You know me. Like to keep it moving. Come on in, clock's ticking. Let's get to the pub. Come on, get my dots. Ryan, they've released you. That's brilliant. On oh, bail. Yeah. Didn't drop you in it. You look like you could do with a large glass of wine. Come on, let's get you inside. It looks bad now, but trust me, I've got a plan. Your plans stink, Debbie. Thanks to you, everyone is going to hate me. No, no, they won't. Yeah. I, I promise you, I'll look after you now. We'll, we'll sort it. I'm still going down for this. Do you not... If by some miracle I don't, I want compensation. Do you understand? I'm not just talking about the money we robbed. You've still got my share, haven't you? Yeah. Of course I have. Yeah, and you'll get it. Go I'm uh, keeping it safe for you. And when all this is done and dusted, I'll sort you out with a... Very nice job, yeah. Fast track you to uh, management. <laughs> You've got bags of potential, you know. You could run a bar or a hotel, even. <laughs> you owe me big time. And with this ruddy thing playing up, I grappled him to the floor and I said, there you go, mate, rest easy. But just then, the widow P turns up. Floor swallow. No, I can't swallow. Well, at least you've got an appointment tomorrow if you can make it that far. Well, I've got no option, have I? I've got William Hughes' funeral to do first. Do you know, I hope that Troy Sawyer got the message. Mm. Are you mad? They're offering you a fortune, 400,000 quid. You've been rummaging in my bin. I shouldn't have to. You should confide in me. Listen to him. Ka-ching, ka-ching, ka-ching. You were behind me before. You said I was a man of principle. What's wrong with being swallowed and spat out? It's the way of the world. Well, it's not the way of my world. I will never, ever let my clientele fall prey to them bloodsuckers. Shuttleworths is not for sale. Scumbag. You know, they should lock you up and throw away the key. Oh, come on. Jenny, 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 no, come on, don't, don't do this. Come on, at least I thought you'd give me a hearing. Right, a chance to explain, please. I'm sorry, Ren, I, I can't risk it. Didn't you learn anything after what happened with Hashim? Whatever anyone's told you is only off the uh, story, well, all right? Nothing new there. It's complicated, are you? I'm listening. Look, if you were in trouble over money, you should have come to me. We're not close anymore. What? We haven't been in ages. I still really care about you. Right. OK. Just tell me what happened. Oh. Uh, Alia. You're the only person I care about. Alia! She's three. As cunning as Todd Grimshaw. Next to Pointed Up, sponsors Coronation Street. 
Asda, we've dropped and locked over 100 prices for the rest of the year. That's your fridge and freezer favourites, cupboard fillers and much more. All at the same price, all year. We're on your side and stay in there. Asda, seasons change, but these prices won't. Millions of players have discovered the world with Bingo Blitz. Download now and enjoy the ride. It's free. I'm all about that game, about that game. The Burger King Whopper. 100% British and Irish beef with an affection for flame. Only at Burger King. Hold tight. We have an incredible deal for you because this is EE Super Fast Fiber Broadband all powered by BT. And now you can get the whole house streaming for just £27 per month. But wait, that's not all. Because EE customers, you pay an exclusive £24 a month. And you get 5 gigs of mobile data for free. Wowza! So get super fast fiber broadband for just £24 a month. Don't miss out. Get it before the 11th of August. We can't make dieting any easier, but we can straighten your teeth three times sooner than traditional braces. The treatment plan is so easy to follow. It's exactly what Smile Direct Club promised me. Join over one million smilers and counting. Smile Direct is transformative. No braces, no monthly practice visits, no paying a fortune. Book your free visit at smiledirectclub.co.uk. Smile Direct Club. Calvin Harris is back with his incredible new album, Funk Web Bounces Volume 2, featuring Potion and the new single, Stay With Me. Funk Web Bounces Volume 2, out now. Welcome to Costa Del. Weatherfield. Nectar Points at Argos sponsors Coronation Street. suited and booted at this hour. <laughs> Not just got back in, have you? You dirty stop out. Well, I could tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. Here he is. Are your ears burning? What? Launch day? We'll start early, he says. What happened? Did you sleep in? Oh, I wish. I've been out since six putting these up. I've only done from here to Wesley Street. My feet are killing me. Oh. Flyers. I'd forgot we'd ordered them. I'll do you a coffee. Oh, Hi. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, please, don't tell me that Roy's dropping out. That's all we need. Oh, dear, he's got himself into a tiz. You'll be burnt out at this rate before his sight's even gone live. <sighs> Sorry, but, you know, there's, there's so many people put the weight behind us, and we, we promised so much. I mean, what if it turns out to be a damp squib? Oh, it won't. There's a lot of skin and hungry people out there. Yeah, but if, if we don't get the word out to them, they won't know they can get good, wholesome food on the cheap. No, we can only do what we can do. Oh, unless... Unless Ryan... Uh, no way. I, I, I know the lad's been an idiot, but... He stole from our friends. Yeah, no, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not defending him. No way. I ju just thought that maybe he, he'd like the chance to make amends. Oh, I gave him a chance. I tried to understand, I really did, but he bottled it. Like he always bottles it when things get real. Right, uh, me and Asher will sort these flyers out. And oh, does it count as marketing just so when I'm, you know, polishing my CV? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Thanks, thanks a lot, Nina. It's all right. Right, see you later. Yeah, see, see you. Stu. You've got a kind heart, but some people don't deserve a second chance. Fight to the death if you must. There's an egg going spare. No, I'm good. Give it to him. He didn't scare you off then with his toolkit and his tech talk. Nope. <laughs> well, laboring's not for everybody. It was good enough for Tolstoy, apparently. <laughs> you played left back for C, right? Yeah. 
Money is money. I'm not too proud to pick up a shovel. Up to scratch. Do you know what? I'm usually wearing breakfast, not eating it, so that was a height of luxury. Aww, well, you deserve a break now and again. To Auntie Beth, picking porridge off Kirk's head as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mind. I'm not sure I could eat this every morning. Surprised you're not popping the buttons on that Savile Row suit. You with a whistle and flute. Hey, now that's a sight I would like to see. <laughs> do you have any joy with that builder, mate? I could really do with getting that site cleared soon as. Paul, yeah, he's on his way around. Said uh, his boss has been laid up, so he's had to bump a couple of jobs until he's back on his feet. Every cloud. And you say that dishwasher's still playing up? Oh, yeah, I'll show you. It's weird. Watch the twiddly thing, it's not rinsing properly. No. Oh. He rolled in in the early hours looking like Bond or Casino Royale. But Jenny's never seen him in a suit. Must have been asleep. Oh, hang on. He made a curry and then they watched a film. Unless he... he snuck out after. He really is a dirty stop out. Well, you don't think he's cheating on it, do you? He's hiding some of it, definitely. Just my general brilliance. They say the best things come in small packages, don't they? Hey, does this guy know he is getting a top draw worker at rock bottom wages? No, mate, but I'm sure you'll put him straight. Sounds like someone needs to. Oh. Yeah, Carla's gonna go mad. She's been threatening to find people. Carla could take a running job, you never leave. Besides, it was worth it, wasn't it? Can you believe we're waxing lyrical about a cuddle? Well, when you call it a cuddle, yeah, but when you call it a smooch. Oh, a smooch. I like a smooch. Sounds hot. Yeah, I like you. Go on. Off you go. <laughs> I love you. I love you more. Sean. Sean. I've not seen George on your shoulders, have you? He's gone AWOL. Let me guess. Tax man's due. Oh, much worse. Valerie Pugh was supposed to be cremating her beloved William at half twelve. I'm guessing Valerie Pugh is quite picky. She puts the axe in battle axe and the stick in stickler, which is what George calls a legacy client. Let me guess. She's a snobby old bat whose husband used to rub shoulders with Archie down the Masons. Mm -hmm. Although, to be fair, he was also a fully paid up member of the trade union club, the Vera Wiseman Hall. And the Irish Centre, too. Oh, an equal ox embalmer. Ambulance chaser, some might say. Not me, obviously. You know, George, you were down the creme, wanted to make this the swan lake of all send-off. Valley on ice, more like. George? Has he been on the sherry? All swimming, Todd. Nice one. Tickety pew for Mrs. Boo. Oh, all oh, right. Mrs. Boo. Oh, <laughs> the, the, I can't the, hold him. I can't hold him. Stop it. See what that's naughty. Ah, oh, no. No. <laughs> well, that colour suits you. Matches my eyes. Up late partying, were you? Well, I was up late anyway. Well, I'm, uh, I'm reading my book in the garden, one-ish, if you pass it. OK, yeah, I'll be there. Right. <laughs> hey. Hey, have you seen this? This Gazette article? No, we've been too busy setting up. Let me get it up on the tablet. You're good at Suki for pushing it through. Cost of living crisis, food waste. She was worried it'd be too downbeat. Too downbeat? Please, come on, she's gone full-on rags to riches. The only thing missing here is the Rocky theme tune. Let me see, let me see. Yeah, and all the other supporters, like uh, Roy and his role, and me and Prima Donna, ba we barely get a mention. Oh, we did mention it was a community scheme. We said we actively welcomed new members. Yeah, but honey, this is the stew show. You know how he hit rock bottom is the dog-eat-dog -dog life on the streets and then bouncing his way back, no, clawing his way back from despair to repay his uh, debt to society. This is the Hollywood movie right here, ladies. Uh, admittedly, he's looking more like a Willie Nelson than uh, Bradley Cooper. When did they take this photograph? Suki must have snapped it while you were working. It's lovely. Stu won't think so. He hates being the centre of attention. <laughs> really? Because he's 4B. Oh! Oh! oh, oh, oh. oh. Are you sure you've not been drinking? Working day, silly. Let me smell your breath. Oh. So, is, it, is that it? Have you, have, you, have you taken something to tide yourself over? When's his dentist appointment? This afternoon. 
little yellow daisies. Eileen's. I Eileen's giving you yellow tablets? Rubbish. What, you took them from... Oh, from the bathroom cabinet? That, oh, my days. Do you remember when Mum's back seized up? He's off his beans on tramadol. No, I'm not in. <laughs> It's Mrs. Pugh. How long before you do to collect her? Not long enough. <laughs> Mrs. Pugh. George. The Pete. family Pugh. <laughs> Debbie. What are you doing here? What do you think? Hey! God, you've got some nerve, haven't I'll you? I'll leave it, Nick. Just let the police deal with it. Uh, how and when? Maybe, but why? Why would you do that? Why, after everything we've done for you, why would you stab us in the back like that? Oh, well, that's it. What's what, some apathetic shrug? Would it make things any better if I apologised? I didn't think so. Oh, God, I should knock you into next week. Nick, please, right. just leave it. But I want our money. I haven't got it. Oh, come on, don't play games with us. I'm not. I swear, right? I made a big mistake. I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry you got caught. I believe you, Ryan. Oh, I believe you. Right, you've got till tomorrow, OK? You've got till tomorrow to bring all of our money back, every last penny I'm going to the police, and they're going to throw the book at you. Burglary, criminal damage, the lot. Not so apathetic now, are you? Tell you what, those kids have got their heads screwed on. We posted all the flyers. Had he helped? Excellent. Yeah, and uh, they've messaged all their friends to spread the word. Um, family WhatsApps. Facebook and um, what's that one where they um, where they just moan about the bids all the time? What's it called? The Weatherfield Bubble. That's it. Um, the Gazette's come up trumps. Well, already. Come on, smash them. Oh, God. oh man, what, what's she done? She, she's made me sound like a class A bigot. Nonsense. A proud survivor. Well, more like the big I am. I mean, come on, what about you and Alia? And, and, and Dev and Roy and, and young Addy? I mean, he was the brains behind the website. They have to find an angle. That's what hooks readers in. This whole plan was your baby. It's a wonderful piece. Inspirational. You should be proud. No, it's all right, mate. Thanks for trying. No one. I've tried three firms and not one can cover it. No, I'm fine. Oh, no, oh, you're bro. not. No, you're not, George. I mean, you've taken enough over your eyes that fell an elephant. Oh, Mrs. Pooh wants me. Hey, Mrs. Pooh will take a harpoon to you if she sees you like this. We'll be begging Rest Easy to take the business off oh. our hands. <gasps> oh, it's her again. I mean, should you be there right this minute? You said half past. Um, right, I'm back. Hello, George Shuttleworth's phone. Tom Grimshaw speaking. I do apologise, Mrs. Pugh. Uh, George's phone was on silent and he's been a bit unwell. But no, 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 no. Preparations are still in hand, yeah. Um, well, we've already sealed William's casket last night. Oh, give it a No! You know, well, you know um, George, it's, yeah, everything always running like clockwork. Um, well, it's not actually just the unsealing of the lid. It's um, putting a large metal item in the casket that's going to cremation. Total no-no. Sorry, you, you where? I'll see you in two ticks then. Right, we've got to get him shifted before she sees me. Shifting where? Sees me. Well, there. Mrs. Pugh, she's changed her mind. She wants William laid to rest with his trombone. Over my dead body. Don't tempt Stop me. It. Right, get in here. Oh, right, my lie God. down. Come on. Oh, lie down. In. Ow. Ow. Right, and you get in. What? But yet, someone's got to keep him oh. quiet. Get in quick. Oh, my oh, God. God. Oh. Thank God for tinted windows. Mrs. Pugh. Do you know, I was thinking about these Vegas flights. You see, Leo's not a planner. He's spontaneous. So I am going to cool my jets and trust that he's going to come strolling in with the tickets. Right. He's full of surprises. It's one of the things I love the most about him. Did I just hear the L word? I love him. And I'm not ashamed to say it. Have you had 
Vibes. Vibes? Yeah, you know, that he feels the same. Have you seen the way he is with me? I held back because of the age gap and Johnny, but I've given me head a wobble and I am going to tell him how I feel. Oh, Daisy, it's not a competition, but Daniel's cut from an entirely different cloth. What? Well, just because we're swearing on dying love for each other doesn't mean that you two have to. I know how your mind works. Do you now? I said that. I'll get you a fresh one. I said that and I'll... Get back to your market and you. I'm sorry. You're a very private man. And I asked you to bear your soul in print. Well, you didn't put a gun to my head. All the same, you feel exposed. So I understand you're wanting to back off. The website hasn't been launched yet. I mean, if it's a total flop, I'm going to cite artistic differences. No, I meant from us. As an item, Suki has made us out to be very lovey-dovey. Yeah. Can I be honest? Suki makes Piers Morgan look like a Pulitzer Prize winner. <laughs> but us is the one thing she did get right. What did the Everly say? I bless the day I found you. Oh, stop. I want to <laughs> stay around you. Should I kick him out? Oh, look, we should be going. And so I beg you, let it be me. <laughs> I want to say. <laughs> He promised me his personal attention. The gold standard, Mrs. Pugh. William deserves no less. You know we're old friends of the family. I do, and uh, not to be crass, but he does plan to reflect that in the final bill. Does he? Well, that's comforting to know. Not that it's about money. No, of course not. But loyalty counts. It's out one of our watchwords. They all say that. But today is our chance to prove that we mean it. Every last syllable. But you are bosses indisposed, so where does that leave us? Aboard a rudderless ship. Not at all. I am George's right hand man. I will follow his instructions to the letter. And you'll still get your spring to win a Shuttleworth. Glenda? One and the same, Mrs. Pugh. Oh, you the image of Archie. That'd be heartbroken as we are. William taught me everything I know about straw phonation. He's a loss to the choral community. His. I presume. Are we placing this on top of the casket? Oh, I've been tossing and turning all night. He wanted to go with it inside. But Rod says the coffin's already been sealed. It's Todd. Uh, my name's Todd. Uh, that's not a problem for us. Not at all. But it will be an issue at the crematorium. Molten metal, yada, yada. My bigger question is, is it the right thing for you? When the sight of this at home could bring you comfort, are there no Buddha musicians in the family? I hadn't thought of that. Could be William's legacy now. What time are the cars due to depart? 12.15. Uh, 12.15? .15. Let's talk this through inside where I can get changed into something more appropriate. <laughs> so this is George's new HQ. I think your father would approve. Mm. This way, Rob. Oh, it's, um... Todd. Where's Stu? This is his brainchild. You'd think he'd be here to see it. Gran, where are you? The site's about to go live. No, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> hey, hang on, hang on. Well, it's not 12 already, is it? Nearly. That's you and your serenading. <laughs> Chill, you haven't missed the fireworks. Not that they'll be fireworks. Technologically, this is very entry-grade programming. Oh, it's going to be great. So, so hang on. Um, for, uh, at 12 o'clock, we, we have to start selling all the food off. <laughs> Don't worry, you're not about to bankrupt speed, though. Add it to me. The businesses can start posting their surpluses from noon onwards. So this English breakfast gaff might be uh, discounting their sausage baps now. But at Prima Donna, we won't be posting our cheaper food until 10. Time. Oh, all right, gotcha. Oh, countdown! Seven, six, six five, five, four, three, two, two one. one. Lift off! Oh, my oh. hero, I'm Oh my goodness, what did you do that? Goodness me, that's 
By the way, nice one with the trombone. The creme stuff would have gone. Those dealers, off the reds, totally. What's your name again? Sean. He's not on the payroll, he's just doing his favour. Your path must have shown. <clears throat> yeah, but what if I don't? You see, I'm an empath. What if I lose it during your number? Sorry, your number? I've thrown in an Ave Maria free of charge. Brings the house down every time. You see, that's what I'm worried about. Because I was raised Catholic, and I mean, of all the songs, that is the one. But, hon, it was the first ever power ballad. Eyes closed, deep breath, into the nose, out through the mouth. Forget William Pugh, Pella of the community. Picture Jamie Spears in that box. Now channel Britney and go. Channeling, thank you, Glenda, <clears throat> thank you, Glenda. So where's my big daft galoot brother? Well, he's now bedded down in the embalming room. We sneaked him in through the back. <laughs> yeah, it'll be fine till after the service. You sure? Yeah, positive. Then it's time we got the show on the road. How did you find me? Not hard, and you're plastered all over the paper. Look, can we take this somewhere quieter? Stay away from Bridget. Who's that? I've no idea. I'd best get back to the shop. Oh, uh, thank you. Thank you for everything. I think. Yeah, total star. Thank you. Take care. You're the manager. Is it restaurant business, though? Look, she's a grown woman. She can make her own decisions. Um, is everything all right? I'll respect your privacy if you respect mine. Stop bothering Bridget. In fact, forget you ever had her in the first place. I, I thought you said you couldn't find your daughter. He says a lot of things. Bridget doesn't want him in her life. No, you do want me in her life. I, I, I never stood a chance. I've said my piece. Let's leave it there. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, surely there's room for a conversation. Please, it's, it's Lucy, isn't it? Come through, sit down. With respect, you have no idea who you're involved with here. Lucy. He's far from the saint he's painted himself. Um, Stu's always been honest about his mistakes. Whatever ancient grievances you've got, surely they can be laid to rest. Tell that to Charlie Walters' family. Lucy, no. Who's Charlie Walter? She's the poor young girl he murdered. She'll be running Underworld before you know it. Nectar Pointed Argos sponsors Coronation Street. The Burger King Whopper. 100% British and Irish people with an affection for flame. Only at Burger King. Oh, oh now it's all okay. oh. good. It's nice to get something back. With Gala Rewards, we give a little extra to our players every Friday. Get 10% cash back on your weekly bingo spend. Join us online at Gala Bingo, where a little joy goes a long way. At Tesco Mobile, we're helping you stay connected for less. Right now, you can get the stunning Samsung Galaxy A13 for just £12.99 a month with club card prices, saving you a massive £144. What's more, there are no EU roaming fees this summer. Now that's unexpected value in the bagging area. This is Supermarket Mobile. To switch, pop in store or search Tesco Mobile. Every little helps. We can't make working out any easier, but we can straighten your teeth three times sooner than traditional braces. It is so easy to follow. And now I have the smile that I've always wanted. Join over one million smilers and counting. Life-changing. The best decision I ever made. No braces, no monthly practice visits, no paying a fortune. Book your free visit at smiledirectclub.co.uk. Smile Direct Club. Now, before you go, Patrick has a few words. Where's Patrick? Tina. The void so hollow that you shall leave.
Our wishes ride with you. And we're having a pint at the Dog and Trumpet. Yorkshire Tea, where everything's done proper. If there's one thing the street loves, it's a party. <laughs> Neck the Point at Arbor sponsors Coronation Street. Please, don't do this. Just, just ignore her. Actually, I think we'd like to hear what she has to say. You've served your time, so I don't want to rake up the past. I'm here to tell you not to either. When Bridget said that you had turned up at her house, I couldn't believe it. You have no right. She's my daughter. No, she's not. She stopped being your daughter a long time ago. She wants nothing to do with you. So stay away, Stuart. Do you hear me? Yeah. Right. I'm sorry. I can explain. It's supposed to be my day off from serving sandwiches. How have I ended up being roped into doing this? Well, normally Jenny does it, but she said that because you're here, we can. Cheeky cow. Oh, make sure you position it so you can see the fillings in the sandwiches. The last thing you need is someone digging their fingers into potty beef thinking it's cheese and pickle. I don't know. That sounds like a fun Saturday night. Dave. Ah. Hey, that Glenda knows what's what, though, eh? Oh, yes, she swooped in like a funeral ninja. Glenda the Good Witch. It's Glinda. Glenda. It's Glinda. What? The Good Witch in The Wizard of Oz. It's Glinda the Good Witch. Yeah, I'm aware, thank you very much. It was a play on words, as in she was our fairy godmother saving the day. All oh, right. Trying to school me on The Wizard of Oz. I'm sorry. Like I'm not a friend of Dorothy, too. But that doesn't mean to say that you know more about The Wizard of Oz than me. I know it better than you do, I bet. <laughs> I doubt it. What colour were her shoes? Book or film? Both. Book, silver, film, red. Amateur. Your turn, then. Come on. Can I help you? Uh, whiskey and dry ginger, please. Coming up. Have you been lying to me? Yes. But only about Bridget, nothing else. So you weren't in prison for murder? I, I, yeah, I was, but I didn't do it. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Please, Yasmin. You have to believe me. Why? Why do I have to, when your wife and daughter clearly don't, when they want nothing to do with you? I, I didn't do it. I swear. I'd like you to leave now. <sighs> Please, yes, Now. Me. Sorry, I'm a bit late. I was looking for this. I thought it was on top of the wardrobe, but when I looked... A book. All right, yeah, you get a prize for that. Yeah, it's a book, and it's a good one. I'm not much of a reader. Yeah, well, who is nowadays? I'm oh, trying to get my kids to read a book. It's near on impossible. No, I mean, I only properly learned a few years ago. Oh, well, you'll need to keep your hand in. Look, trust me, this is an easy read. You'll enjoy it. Some... For Aughty Tales from the Afterlives. Yeah. I I'm not very religious. <laughs> you won't neither is that. What's it about? Well, it's about death and what happens afterwards. Look, I reckon the more you read about it, the less scary it'll become. You know, like aversion therapy. Look, just give it a go. If you don't like it, I won't be offended. I reckon you'll get a lot out of it. And if we judged a book by its cover, we would never have been friends. Come on. Oh, come on. I tell you what, I don't know how it tastes better after a morning's graph. <laughs> you barely did out. Okay. You were helping a foreman's son with his history homework most of the morning. Yeah. 
Well, talking about the restoration period really builds up a sweat. Yes, I'm always saying that. Piff, piff. Oh, shut up. I didn't see Leo about much. Nah, engineers don't have to be on site most of the time. Right. I heard some of the lads saying this was his last day anyway. Really? How come? Dunno. Right, I'm off for a whilst. Hey, Joe. What do you know? Well, apparently, this is Leo's last shift. He's leaving. Really? God, I knew it. He is up to something. He won't commit to going away with Jenny and now this. And what do you think he's up to? <sighs> I don't know. But it's nothing good. It's Wizard of Oz trivia you're after. Have a belter. You know Frank Morgan? Is he a footballer? No, he's an actor. He plays the wizard and also the doorkeeper. I know that. I was just kidding. He also plays Professor Marvel in the beginning of the film. That's right. He played five different roles, in fact. And for Professor Marvel, Wardrobe brought in a load of old coats from a local second-hand store. They settled on this green, tattered Prince Albert coat. One afternoon, Frank Morgan puts his hand in the pocket, pulled it out, sees a name embroidered there. <sighs> Whose name? L. Frank Baum. He wrote the books. I know. It can't be true, though, can it? It's a myth yet to be proved or disproved definitively. Great story, though. It is, Lawrence, and I believe it. So do I. How long have you been in the funeral game? About four hours. I'm just filling in for a friend. Filling in. Uh, my boss had a dental emergency. We should have met sooner. I'm a dentist. Oi, second sack. Glinda, I mean Glenda. This is Glenda, we were just, um... I see what you're just. Less flirting with the mourners, please. <laughs> Todd, where's the book of condolence? Share to end. Well, get it back. I can't. Well, where does that leave me then? You heard what Nick said. Unless the, the money's returned, he's going to get the book for an army. It didn't mean that. How do you know? I would if I was him. Not if there was a good enough reason as to why you did it. What do you mean? I think I've found us a way out of this, but you need to follow my lead this time, yeah? Not going off peace willy nilly. Right, okay. Right? Yeah. Let's go home. No. Please. I think it'll do us both good to talk it through. Talk what through? We don't even know what happened. I made him leave before he could give any proper answers. Well, I could call him, get him to meet us there. No, I want to speak to Lucy. She didn't seem to want to talk. Well, she should have thought about that before she turned up here throwing accusations around. I need to hear her side of the story. But we should just, you just hold the fort here. I'm going to find her. Gran. Thank you so much for today. You really made it special. Oh, it was nothing. You're a credit to your father, you really are. Thank you. And do pass on my regards to your brother. Wish him a speedy recovery. Of course. Goodbye, Mrs. Pugh. <gasps> Any wine left over? Only the house red. Oh, get it poured, sunshine. I think we deserve it. Today would have been a complete disaster if you hadn't stepped in. I wasn't going to leave my brother high and dry now, was I? <coughs> anyway, never mind that. What I want to know is, when are you seeing the dishy dentist? Oh, <laughs> I'm off men at the moment. Did you not get his number? Oh, foolish boy. Do you think hot, single, professional menses grow on trees? Can you believe him? I still can't believe he's interested in me. <laughs> I've made a big mistake. Huge. Massive. Am I still high? Georgia! Lady Glendalyn! Oh, oh, no! Let me have a look at you! <laughs> what are you doing here? Saving the day. Oh, but 
Is it a flying visit or are you home for good? Let's just say I'm on dry land for the foreseeable. Well, good enough for me. Oh, <laughs> dry land. <laughs> I knew it. You're a pirate, aren't you? I, my darling boy, am a cabaret singer on a cruise ship. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my days. You never told me your sister was Jay McDonald. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, they've had to put on replacement buses. I don't know. I'm going to try and get a cab. Oh, great. I've got to go. Bye. I don't want to talk to you. Do you think it's fair to drop that bombshell and then run away? I really didn't mean to cause you any trouble. I am just trying to protect my daughter. Well, help me to protect my granddaughter, too. Tell me what kind of man I have living under my roof. Please. <sighs> There's never a dull moment on the street. Nectar Points at Argos sponsors Coronation Street. Gravel Axe, please. The UK's fastest 5G network. And for your main, sir. Whenever you need it most. Three. Millions of players have discovered the world with Bingo Blitz. Download now and enjoy the ride. It's free. I'm all about that game, about that game. What makes a temper mattress so special? Is it the NASA technology that we developed into our unique temper material? Or that it helps you get that true, restful sleep? Temper, a mattress like no other. Available at stores nationwide. The UK is changing right under your nose. I was blown away with how quickly you could see the difference in your teeth. Smile Direct Club can straighten your teeth in as little as four to six months. You get all of your aligners in one package. The instructions are clear, simple. You can do it from the comfort of your home. With 24-7 access to care. The Tomek Care team are fantastic. You can go from this to this. Smile Direct is a dream come true. Book your free visit at smiledirectclub.co.uk. Smile Direct Club. Off out, are we? Mind if I tag along? Thing is, you can do your hair as nice as you like, but you know I'll always be here, making you ever so slightly self-conscious. Oh, no. Not cry a tag. No more tagging along for you. No! Why put up with a skin tag when you can freeze it out of your life with cry a tag? The professional way to remove skin tags at home, so you can look your best with nobody else tagging along. Cry a tag, the clinically proven skin tag remover. The street's always been full of strong women. Nectar Points at Argos sponsors Coronation Street. When Stu got back from the Navy, he was a different person. How so? In and out of work, in and out of fights. He got a job at this restaurant, and he seemed to change for the better. He was happier, more engaged. What happened? This waitress at the restaurant went missing. Turned up a few days later in some nearby woodland. Stu's DNA was all over her. Is, is there any way this could have been a huge mistake? A miscarriage of justice, it does happen. It does, but not in this case. He confessed. Yeah, confessed to killing her. Said they were having an affair and she threatened to reveal it. It broke my Bridget. Completely ruined our lives. So please, leave us alone now. All I'm saying is it's not like him. He's on the CCTV, it's as plain as day. What's this? Ryan. <sighs> Well, yeah, I know we can be a bit of a clown, but I've never seen him be malicious. Well, people can surprise you, can't they? Mm, he's a bit out of character. I mean, all that for a trip to Ibiza. Well, maybe he's on drugs, you know, who's a dealer. 
do you think? Well, it would make more sense if it was being, uh, what's the word, coerced to uh, rob the place. Oh, I don't care why he did it. I just want my money back. He can rot for all I care. Mm. Oof, you look glam. Thank you. Uh, will you be all right to mind the bar for a few hours? Everything's cleared up after the wake. Yep. No problem. <laughs> Way off to. Last minute day at the bistro. Leo just rang to say he's waiting for me with a bottle and ice. That's nice. Jo, I know it's only the local restaurant, but it's the spontaneity of it all. It's so romantic. I'm thinking now might be the right time to drop the L bomb. What do you think? Uh, maybe not. Eh? I didn't want to say anything, but I. I can't watch you get all excited over a man who's lying to you. Lying? About what? Early hours of this morning, Daniel caught him skulking about with his best clobber on. And today he heard he's leaving his job. But he's only just got that job. Why, why would he be leaving it? I mean, I could be wrong. And he's already told you all this. No. Oh, this is the first time hearing of it. And then it got me thinking about how he's avoiding talking to you about the Vegas trip at Christmas. And I know that we said he was being a typical bloke, putting off the planning, but... But maybe he doesn't want to tell me that he's not planning on being with me at Christmas. There could still be a logical explanation for all of this. Maybe. But I will certainly be finding out. Because I can tell you this much for nothing. I am far too long in the tooth to be made a fool of. I asked her, how many slices do you want this cutting into? Four or eight. She said, four, please, duck. I could never manage eight. <laughs> <laughs> that was all I could do to keep a straight face. Oh, it's funny, isn't it? Because on the telly, she always seems so bright. Tell her what to say, don't they? Mm. Are we still talking about Jane Watson? No, we've moved on from her. Oh, right. Sorry, I think the tramadol's still affecting me. <laughs> you must be loads of celebrities then on your boats. Cruise ships, thank you, not boats. And yes, lots. Get another round and then I'll tell you what Jeanette Cranky wears to bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, Sean, just a soft for me. Coming up? Yeah. I don't want to repeat it earlier. Did you get your tooth sorted? Oh, yes. So when I woke up and I realised what had happened, I rushed down there and I managed to keep my appointment. Well, thanks for covering you two. It really does mean a lot. Oh, eyelash. Are you all right? I've got my bucket smell. What? When you make butterflies, you put concrete in them. Oh, they break things. Oh. Ouch. I'm sorry. What for? I'll explain later. But first, I want you to meet my little sister, our Glenda. From the cruise ship? Not anymore. Slight altercation with a sous chef after he found out I cheated on him with my percussionist. <laughs> That is lovely to me, yeah. Oh, you smell amazing. Reminds me of someone. Nan! You must wear the same perfume. She does, doesn't she? She smells of me, Nan. Shawnee, get Eileen whatever she wants, will you? I'm me. Aww. Drunk a little sherry, Nana. Hmm. She's bad, isn't she? There's something wrong with your patty? Hmm? No, it's, uh, it's, it's lovely. Just been quiet. Is it the flowers? Did I get the wrong ones? No, they're, they're lovely. Really big. Oh, guys, sorry for the wait. Uh, it took me ages to locate. We don't get many calls for the Canadian red. Thank you. Oh, I'm sure it'll be fine, mate. Oh, go on. Any good? Lovely, yeah. Great, great, great. Well, look, anything else? Let me know. Will do. Yeah. I don't know what to say when they do that. I mean, wine's wine. He never normally does that. I think he's trying to take his mind off the robbery. <clears throat> Should have realised you'd have nowhere to put them. Huh? The flowers. 
My mum used to say, the bigger the bunch, the dirtier the deed. What does that mean? It means... Why are you sneaking around in the middle of the night and leaving your job? What or who are you doing? I was going to tell you tonight. Sure. No, I was. Look, that's what all this is about. Oh, nice. What, bring me somewhere public so I won't kick off, is that it? Well, I won't bank on it, sunshine. Who is it, then? No, you've got it wrong. I've got a new job, not a new woman. Huh? Yeah. What, what job? Same as I'm doing now, only for more money. Well, why does that mean that you had to sneak around in the middle of the night? My interview was on video chat, and because of the time difference, it was a late-night call. They're in Canada. Canada? Yeah. Toronto. You... You've got a new job in Canada? <laughs> yeah. So this is a break-up meal, then? No. No way. Well, how is it not? Couldn't be hell of a commute if you were planning on staying. I want you to come with me. Sorry? That's why I didn't want to book the flights to Vegas yet. Because I want us both to fly there from Toronto. That's what all this is about. I wanted to convince you to come with me on an adventure. To Canada? Yeah. Hi, love. Was it that time already? No, but Carla and Sarah were out at a meeting, so I thought I'd sneak back and see how you were doing. Well, you're getting to bother. I don't care. I wanted to give you a kiss. Are you reading? Yeah. It's not like you. You always said it was a bit of a chore. Well, you're always telling me I watch too much telly, so I thought I'd give it a go. It's quite relaxing, isn't it? Mm, what are you reading? A football autobiography? No, no, this. Where did you find that? I got it in that, um, you know, that mini library in the phone box on uh, Maudsley Street. Oh, what's that about? Death. Oh, that's cheery. Oh, it's not depressing. It's just stories about what happens to you in the afterlife, you know? I've been trying so hard to avoid thinking about death that I've got a bit of a mental block. So I thought if I started reading about it, I'd unblock it, you know, a bit like aversion therapy. What? Nothing. It's just great to see you being so brave and proactive. I'm so proud of you, Tim. Hmm. Just let me know you're OK, please. Love you. Where have you been? I've been calling you. I needed to walk after my talk with Lucy. You found her then? Oh, yes. Well, did she tell you anything else? Unfortunately, yes. There can be no doubt Stu killed a young woman. Really? Yeah, he'd been having an affair with her. Why would he kill her? To hide the affair. His DNA was all over her body. And he confessed. What? So there you... There you go. I let another lying cheat into my life. I went home looking for you. His stuff wasn't in his room, so he's gone now. Good riddance. I never want to see him again. Have you done it? Yeah, I just got back from the station now. What did you tell them? Exactly what you said. Some dodgy blokes in mass threatened to kill me if I didn't get them the money. Don't know where it is, don't know who they were, but they did mention Ray Cross. I could. And, and did you tell them you were petrified, uh, scared for your life? A few times, yeah. Perfect. You know what, they didn't seem convinced. Look, now that Ray Crosby's name is out there, they'll have to acknowledge the fact that it might be something to do with him. They'll tell Nick you were coerced, and hopefully, fingers crossed, he'll go a lot easier on you. I suppose. Look, this is the best I could come up with, so next time you see Nick, act your little socks off. And 
And if you fancy visiting the cobbles, the street is now open. You can book onto the Coronation Street tour on itv.com slash Coronation Street. Right up next then, time for a bit of flirting in Secret Crush. She's three. As cunning as Todd Grimshaw. Next appointed Argo sponsors Coronation Street. Millions of players have discovered the world with Bingo Blitz. Download now and enjoy the ride. It's free. I'm all about that game, about that game. At Emma, we know a great day starts with a great night's sleep. Everything we make helps you with our beds, pillar original mattress.